Here's your blood roots. Thanks, Beth. Here's your recipe. Enjoy your Bloody Marys. Can I use the distillery? Great rum. Can I have more? Of course. Okay, I'm ready. Let's drink for gold. <laughs> have a seat. Let's go! Bogaret! Shit! Oh, bollocks! Try your luck again? Let that be a lesson to you. And thanks for the gold. Okay, I'm ready. Let's drink for gold. <laughs> Have a seat. Let's go. <coughs> nice one. Marvellous tits, but you can drink. Here's your gold. That's enough. I'm not wagering gold again. Still not a pirate yet.
All in water, worst fucking city job there is. heavy.
Take your pleasures now, sir, before we set sail. So, you want to sail with us? That's the idea. On this ship, the captain's word is law, and you'll obey it. Know how I can impress the captain? Have you tried cracking that chest? The one down in the hold? Yes. Really? What was inside? A bit of gold. It's yours, then. That was the deal. I'll tell the captain we've got our own lockpicker aboard now. You'll have a lot to do now. Hope you're ready. We can talk here for a while. Come on. Okay. You fought one of the sunken? Yeah, but the thing couldn't take any more than a normal person. Well, let's just hope there aren't any more of them. You're talking about the oath. My father will only take us with him if you join the crew. You'd have to swear the oath. What's that mean, exactly? Nothing major. Oath of loyalty to the captain, and if you break it, he can kill you. What's this I hear about you doing away with Meeks? And the sunken one he was talking to. Betraying us tomorrow, was he? Turncoat bastard. Should have guessed. He used to be one of Garcia's men. Well done, lad. He's no loss. Knocked a few lumps into that arsehole hack, did ya? Good lad. Here you've been fighting with Morris. And one. Good for you. People say you're cursed. Aye, and also you tell I keep a mighty sea serpent inside my britches. Well, are you or aren't you? Scared of sailing with a captain under a curse, are you? Look, I need that weapon and I don't care what it takes to get it. Even if it means becoming cursed yourself. The stories are true. I am cursed. And so are all those who sail with me. So, 
You still want to come with me? Do I have a choice? Look, if it's the only way to get the Titan Harpoon, then so be it. Then I'll tell you what we're up against. Mara sends all manner of horrors after us. She wants us dead, but old Steelbeard's too smart for her. Why does she want you dead? To that bitch! Everyone is either her servant or her enemy, and I'm no servant. So you've actually seen her in the flesh? We had our encounter, she and I. And here I am, still. What happened? Enough questions. You obey Captain's orders now, and the first order is... More rum! Who's Captain Garcia? Didn't I say enough questions? You did, but... All right, lad, I'll level with you. You've picked a poor time to become a pirate. There's a pirate war going on right now. So I heard. Aye, it's surely no secret. Those bastards Garcia and Crow have sided with Mara. For that, she gave Crow the Titan Harpoon and Garcia the Bone Hand. So it's Crow we want. But what's with this we? You want him, you can do it yourself. I've got something that'll maybe change your mind about me. I freed a pirate they had locked up. Really? Who was he? Largo. He was in that tower in Puerto Sacarico. Raiding Inquisition jails and freeing locked up pirates? Well done, lad! Booze is gonna give you your rum. Ah, now you're talking, lad. I took care of that crab's problem. Your personal hygiene's your own affair, lad. No, big ones. Monster ones. Oh, those kind, I get ya. And I killed more of them than Blake. Made it into a competition, did he? Well, that's not bad, I suppose. That won't be your last fight against those monsters if you want to sail with me. I found Pete's treasure. <laughs> At least now I know you can read a map. I found O'Brien's treasure. Aye, by wrangling that map out of him. Low and underhand methods. That's a pirate way, lad. I've plundered some ruins. That might not have been a good idea, lad. Deal their treasures, and the natives' ancestors get a mite annoyed at you. I can take care of it. Look, I've got a monkey. It'll be the brains of the partnership, I'm guessing. What's it gonna be? Will you have me aboard? Well, now, let me think. My patty likes you, but that might not be a good thing. You're not afraid of getting stuck in? Fight giant crabs. Blake thinks you're all right. Then there's the matter with Hank. Morris. Freed Largo. Pete's treasure. O'Brien's treasure. You faced the sunken one, looted a ruin. Don't forget the rum. No, oh, I and the rum. So what's your decision? I reckon my paddy may be right. You've got your uses. Swear the oath, and you're in. What kind of oath is it? Every man who sails with me swears on his blood that he's a true pirate. Sailing together and fighting together, that's the pirate way. After that, you're a pirate until the day you die. No backing out. What about sharing the loot? Every man gets his share. Although I've not been planning any raids, we're supposed to be after that artifact weapon. That slip your mind? So what are my duties on ship? Ah, good question. We'll find something for you to do. Manning the crow's nest, raising the sails, whatever's needing done. So what's our heading? The sword coast of Arborea. That's where that bastard crow was going, and he's got the weapon in mind. You swear the oath, and I'll get the lads on board and we'll be off. So if you still want to talk to anyone about anything, do it now. I understand. Ready to swear the oath? 
This crow, what's he like? A grim-faced bastard. And a fine sailor. But mostly just a grim-faced bastard. I used to sail with him. But that was before he sided with Mara. Any idea what he's doing on the Sword Coast? No bloody good, you can be sure of that. He won't give up that weapon freely, so I hope you're ready for a fight. That's not a problem. How's it feel, pirate? I knew you could do it. All right, don't get all soppy on me. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 